hello and welcome back to the channel everybody this time we're gonna go over Horong and we're gonna go over his stances in a proper order and we're gonna go into the flamingo stances in their respective order too I'm sorry this took me so long let us get started up first I have Horong's normal left stance we're starting off with 4 4 into 3 this can also be translated to 4 4 4 into 3 a 3 and or 4 hit string it's negative 15 to negative 9 on block depending on the distance and you will punish this from full crouch. Up next is 4 plus 3 into a just frame neutral 3. It's just a regular mid kick. I believe this knocks down on hit. This is negative 16 on block. Yoshimitsu can get any launcher that he wants except crouch dash one. Up next is down four into four. This is a low high string. The low itself is horrendously negative on block, but the high is negative eight, making it safe. If you stay ducked, you can't do a wall rise and punish for this move. Up next is back plus three. This move is very complicated, but from the left stance, this is negative 19 to negative 17 on block. Up next is crouch dash four, which is his skyrocket. If it's not just frame, it's negative 18, but a just frame skyrocket is negative 10. Now is the jab punishment section of the left stance or the normal stance. Up first is one one three three four hit string with two highs, a low, and another high. The first low is negative twelve, and the high at the very end is negative fourteen. Up next is 333, just a 3 hit string. This is negative 14 on block. This is down 4 plus 3 into 4, and say 2 hit string. Down 4 plus 3 by itself is negative 12. The 4 is negative 14 to negative 13, and flash also interrupts. This move is down back plus 3. This is just a low strike. It is negative 13 on block. Yoshimitsu can't get much but a wall rising 4 or low carry if you can read this. Up 4, 3 plus 4 into 4 is a 3 hit kicking string. This move is a little bit weird. It's negative 13 but no sword stance also works very well. Sidestep plus four is a sweeping low that launches on counter hit, I believe. This move is negative 13 on block. Yoshimitsu cannot get much. Precisely because Horong, of all people, has multiple stances that involves every aspect of his body, I consider this move super back turn four because his back is completely turned to you. And four, while as a mid launcher, it is only negative 13. Treat this like a hop kick. This section right here is the right stance done by three plus four. And I didn't do it like my normal way, I just go over the stances. But we're gonna start off with two, four into three. Two, four into three is a three hit string that looks quite similar. It is negative 15, negative 9, of course, on block, in full crouch. 4-3 is a move that can be done on its own, but the same frame data applies. 4 plus 4 into a just frame, another 4, turns this move into a launching mid, same from earlier. This is negative 12 on block. From the right stance, four, four, four into three is a two hit string consisting of a mid and then a high. Uh, the high is horrendously safe on block, so the ideal you want to duck this move and punish it. Down back plus three into three is a low high launcher. Look at that, that is massive. Luckily, since the second hit is high, you can duck and punish this. This is the ideal option for this move.
back turn plus three from the right stance is another launcher that you have to treat like a hop kick with it being negative 13 to negative 11 on block. The last move out of here is down plus three is a little low sweep. This is negative 13. Yoshimitsu himself can't get much off of this. We're doing left flamingo now. We're starting off with left flamingo 3-3. Three, three. Just two minutes. It's negative 14 on block. Up next from left flamingo is down 4 plus 3 into 4. The same moves from earlier. Negative 12 for the first hit. Negative 14 with a flash interrupt. Up next from left flamingo is down 4 or down 4 4. A very massive low sweep is negative 23 on block. Up next is down back plus 4. It's just another low strike. This move is negative 12 to negative 11 on block from full crouch. Back plus 1 is an evasive mid. It's negative 13 on block. And that is about it. Back plus 3 is an armor crushing mid. You really can't get much from this. This is negative 12 to negative 10 on block. This is left flamingo, up forward four is a mid launcher. It is negative 15 on block. You can get a down forward four or a hope me. And last but not least, this is up forward three plus four into four. Another three hit string from earlier. Negative 13 to negative 12 with a no sword stance flash being able to launch on block. And this is Horon's 10 hit string. Uh, you can low pair the fourth and seventh hit out of this combo. And the final part, we're gonna go over right flamingo, starting with right flamingo four. It's a mid strike. This is negative 14 on block. This is down four three. Down four three is low mid strikes. If you block the low, it crumples on block. It is negative 31, but the mid is negative 14. Up next is right flamingo down plus three. This is a low sweep. If you block this, it crumples on block. It's negative 23. And this is right flamingo back plus three. It's a, it's a back swing launcher in a way. It's negative 15 to negative 14 on block. And coming up last is back plus four out of right flamingo. This is just a mid strike that armor crushes. It's negative 12 on block. And this will complete my Horon Punishment Guide. I thank all of you guys for watching. Once again, I'm sorry this took so long. I'm pretty sure I may have forgot some stuff too. Just drop a comment and see how you can improve this video better. And I will see you guys next time. Please take care.